English Grammar Lesson 6 The topic is verb tenses, and our focus remains on the present perfect and the present perfect progressive. This is a bonus feature, and it will be most helpful after you've seen parts 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're now going to compare verb tenses. By doing so, I think you'll better understand and more effectively use the present perfect and present perfect progressive. Point 1. For a time period that began in the past and continues to now, we can use the present perfect progressive and the present perfect. Both can express that something is unfinished. The present perfect progressive expresses an ongoing action, such as I've been doing research. The present perfect can express an ongoing state or condition, such as I've been here all this time. Point 2. If we're only talking about an action, then the present perfect progressive expresses an ongoing action. It's unfinished. But the present perfect and the simple past express complete actions. They're finished. Let's consider three examples. I've been studying Portuguese. This is the present perfect progressive. My studies began in the past and continue till now. I'm not done. I've studied Portuguese. This is the present perfect. This is giving information about general past experience. There's no specific time mentioned. Perhaps I'm using the present perfect to stress that the knowledge from the past is still with me now. I studied Portuguese. This is the simple past and I'm telling you an action completed in the past. Point 3 Let's consider yet one more difference between the present perfect progressive and the present perfect. The progressive tense can suggest a more temporary situation. The present perfect can suggest a more permanent situation. Here are two examples. I've been living in Boston for about a year. I've lived in Boston for several years. The present perfect progressive suggests a more temporary state. It's appropriate for a shorter period of time. The present perfect suggests that my living in Boston is a more permanent situation. It's appropriate for a longer duration. Now consider the same idea expressed in the simple past and the simple present. I lived in Boston for seven years. This period of time was in the past. There's no connection to the present. I don't live there now. I live in Boston. This is a present fact. The duration is unknown, but it sounds more permanent than I've been living in Boston. Let's see how well you've understood. Try an exercise. Complete the statement using one of these verb tenses. The present perfect progressive, the present perfect, the simple past, or the simple present. Number 1. Clue. Name my profession. Answer. Jennifer is an English teacher. The simple present. 2. Clue. Focus on duration. Answer. Jennifer, how long have you been teaching English? Present perfect progressive. Note that the present perfect is also possible. Number three. Your clue is in blue. Answer. My family celebrated Thanksgiving this year at home in Massachusetts. The simple past. Four. Again, your clue is stated in blue. Answer. There's a lot to do before Christmas. I've already begun to bake cookies, buy presents, send cards, and decorate the house. I should finish everything on time. This is the present perfect. All right, that's the end of our lesson. Thanks for watching and happy studies.